folks and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Capital Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle, prophetess. Um, so if you are new here, welcome in my loves. We are a high vibe tribe. We do have um, a lot of new people joining the channel. So welcome in my loves. Um, and those of you guys returning, welcome back soul fam. <laughs> um, so you guys have already seen the title. You, you, you already know why you're here. This is like just me picking up on a divine masculine collective energy of, um, I kind of channeled it out yesterday in a collective message and it was all about this, whether this is someone like you consider, you know, a, a DM, like a twin flame, someone in separation, or this is someone that you just recently met and it was like fireworks or I don't know. It's just someone who is like really in a mode of, I've got to have you. You know what I mean? Um, you are mysterious to this person. You keep them on their toes. Um, what I'm getting is like, you keep me guessing. You keep me guessing. Like not in like a, you know, like it's like in a good way. Like this person knows that you're like Empress energy or you know what I mean? Um, you just, you know. You're real. We'll say that. Real. Okay. So, and that's what's refreshing to this person. Okay. There's something very real and raw. And what I'm getting here is an energy of like, I love you. Like, I don't, I know I haven't told you, or I know I really haven't said anything to you, or ever said anything to you. I don't know. Right. But like, I can just feel myself losing myself, like in you, you're intoxicating, you're, you know, you're all the things, right? You're perfect. Um, but there's this very strong sexual energy here. So I just want to kind of get an idea of what's going on. Um, and just see what messages come through. Um, 212 was on the timestamp a second ago. Um, so I don't know if you guys are getting that a lot. Five of chalices, knight of wands. feeling the loss of you. Okay. So this could be someone who actually like kind of, right. Lost you per se. Um, maybe again, like I said, separation, or this is someone who is just like looking out and they're just like, you know what? Like I already know, like if I like open up to this person, if I take, if I shoot my shot, if I go for it and it doesn't work or something happens, if I lose this person, right? Like they're, they're, they're like, it will, it'll, it'll five of cups me. It'll, it'll, you know, it'll break me in a sense, you know, but, but I don't know, you know, Ace of Wands, look at that. But I don't know because when I look at this person, oh, I'm getting chills all the way up my right leg. That is the masculine side. Okay. So this masculine right now, um, is it's like this energy of that. It's, it's like, just look at her. She's, she's actually like, she's, she's pregnant. Okay. So it's the Ace of Wands. It's full of like that, you know, fire energy. Okay. It's very passionate and fertile is what I'm, is what I'm getting. Okay. There's a lot of Kundalini energy and you can see here that there it's like two figures back here in the flames. So this could be resonant to twin flames for sure. Um, but it's almost like two people who have both been burned and scorched in the flames. Um, they have been the Phoenix. They have crashed and burned in life, you know, one way or the next. They both have known pain. They both have known loss, grief, you know, sabotage, like, you know, um, just that kind of stuff, right? He's just absolutely enamored with her, in awe of her. It's like a worshiping energy. He's worshiping her in this moment. How's the temperature in the room? Is it, do you want me to, to put more wood on the fire? How does the fire feel? Are you warm enough? Are you too warm? What do you need, honey? Just tell me, what is it, right? She's like, I just need you, right? Okay, the hermit. It's almost, right? It's like this person is one could be someone who's been in hermit energy and they feel like they've lost out or struck out or they missed their chance or whatever because they were in a hermit mode or whatever right but this is like what someone's thinking about you know what i mean like 
are they with someone, you know, this person could have anyone they want. I'm going to keep this out real quick. Um, this shows me that there's nothing here, but like, I mean, it's not that there's nothing, but there's a lot of like passion in between the two of you guys, whoever this person is, or is um, going to be or about to be, or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like for the majority of you guys, you know, this person, Naval wands, seven of wands. All I keep hearing off of the seven of wands right here is I want her to trust me. Now, whether it's man or woman, it doesn't matter. That's just what I'm hearing is I want her to trust me. So I don't know, you guys, it just feels like this is somebody who wants to put their best foot forward with you when it comes to you. I mean, this is really for me. It's like, it's like we're seeing the emperor and the empress in bed. You know what I mean? That's what I get off of this. That's all I get. In their most intimate moments, in their, you know, in their most memorable, intimate moments, you know, the moments that shape their love into being and all that stuff, you know, shape their, their legacy into being, their lineage into being, you know what I mean? These are two people that build a legacy together. It is a lineage. It's not just a family. It's not just having children. It's like building like an empire, literally the emperor and the empress. And that's what this is. This person recognizes you as their match, like as someone who can hold it down, someone who's a ride or die, but also someone who's extremely nurturing, motherly, you know, compassionate, loving, you know, very soft, graceful, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. So... This is someone who, you know, for a lot of you guys, either, you know, kind of fudged up with you in the past. Okay. Right when I said that, the Knight of Chalices, two Knights and the Knight of Pentacles popped up. So this could have been someone who had, you know, I don't know. They just weren't ready. They weren't wanting to be tied down or they want, they, they saw that you were the Empress, but they weren't quite the Emperor. Um, It's almost as if like he's reflecting back on like, you know, his, his, his past actions and like how he kind of like deceived or feels like he deceived or I don't know. Now this could also just be someone who, you know, this was how they were in the past, you know, a little bit of a deceptive kind of player mentality almost. Right. Um, but it's almost as if like, yeah, I do get that wandering eye energy. I feel like that some of the masculines here were like that, which is normal, you guys. I mean, hello, I grew up with all brothers. Like, I, I, I know how this goes, right? Like, but what I'm also getting is like secret admirer. You know what I mean? Like this person like kind of sneaks up on you, but not in like a, you know, weird way. You know what I mean? It's, it's like a, it's like a save the day kind of a thing. Not that you need saving. You're the empress, obviously. But it's kind of like the, you know, knight in shining armor kind of energy. You know? But yeah. King of Pentacles. Okay, the King of Pentacles and then the chariot on the bottom of the deck. It feels like someone is, okay, like, <laughs> I'm just getting an energy over and over again from these cards, like, of a masculine, like, 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 these energies, other feminine energies, like, having to leave, or he's leaving her behind, and it's almost like King of Pentacles is like, okay, come on, like, get dressed, you gotta go, you know, that's what I get off of this, okay, so it's almost like for, for some of, yeah, and I'm getting chills again on the right, so it's like, for, 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 for some of you guys, this is like, you know, someone from your past, a divine masculine energy, who, it's almost like I'm getting, like, they're cleaning house, like, they started, like, just, like, sweeping things away, cleaning house, because they know, like, what they want, King of Pentacles, he's the king of wealth and, and material wealth and investment and, you know, um, all that, right? He's not going to invest unless he knows for certain that he's going to get a return on that investment. And it's not going to be with 
like an energy like this or like this, okay? Um, yeah, I'm getting fun while it lasted. So there's that, okay? Um, but yeah, and I'm getting cleaning up my act. So however that is, right? Now this could also be just someone who, you know, again, like I said, has been that way. And like they, you know, they've been kind of maybe like cleaning up their act or just becoming more of like that king energy where these things don't, you know, those kinds of like flirty, just like one night stand or like, you know, that kind of stuff just doesn't appeal to them so much. You know what I mean? Um, but then they like lay eyes on you or they see you or meet you. And it's like, I'm getting like that game over. Okay. Yeah. See game over. Soulmates have reunited. It's game over. So that's what this is. This is the energy of, um, having sexual union. It's sexual union with a soulmate. That's what it is. Ace of Wands is absolute passion, fire, chemistry, fireworks, explosiveness, inferno energy. It's like all of that, right? So, you know, and I love the Ace of Wands, particularly in, in this deck. Because it's just, it shows you what their passion is in that moment and what it has created and what they feel. And, you know, she can be open and vulnerable and he's there also, you know, in the nude, but like, you know, vulnerable as well. And they're still being like a warrior type energy or a protector type energy, right? So, you know what I'm getting is like, it feels nice not to be needed. But what, what, I'm, what, I'm, what he's like saying to her in this moment is like, you know, my whole life, it's been like, you know, I'm the breadwinner or I'm the one that people count on and I'm the, you know, it feels nice to have someone to have my back. Like it feels nice to have someone on my level, on, you know, on my, you know, on my level, on my, you know, it level the playing field, you know, it's like per se, right? It's almost like he's like, thank you, you know? Nine of Wands, opening up, and then Two of Wands, Five of Pentacles. It's like the moment you guys, you know, come together. You guys both embrace each other, and it's like coming out from the cold, per se. Not that you're out in the cold, but it just brings you into this moment of warmth and feeling like you truly have met the one, and that you, you know, it's, it's, it's forever it's it's happily ever after from this point on kind of a thing you can even see like there's the violin which for me I love the violin I it's very you know it's a very romantic instrument it's like one of the instruments that I really want to learn how to play um because it's just so beautiful again and very romantic there's a there's a romanticism about it right and then you know there's all the roses and, and blooms and flowers so it's very bloomy blossomy you know this beautiful open kind of um kind of energy here where when they kiss everything just blooms and blossoms and it's almost as if you can hear the violin playing right okay and then look at that riding off into the sun um I did say that this person wanted to like it was like sweep you you know knight in shining armor or whatever I said like like sweep you off their white horse or whatever it was I said literally that's what like he's doing it's the knight of wands which is more of that very passionate you know like I've got to have you very intense arrows kind of energy, but it's also very agape energy as well. The three of chalices is just like, you guys are just completely indulging each other, um, which is what I see here is, is in the not too far future for a lot of you guys. Okay. Now the nine of wands is almost like she's want, she's consoling him in this moment, Nine of Wands is typically, you know, it's a car of the wounded warrior. It's it's guarded. It's people who have their walls up, you know, that kind of a thing. And it's almost as if like he sits her down and he's like, I want to talk to you, you know, and I want to tell you about all the things, all the reasons and, you know, why I had my walls up and why I did this or who I've been and this and that. Right. And she's almost like, it's okay. Like, you don't have to explain. Like, there's nothing to explain. It's okay. Like, this is where we are and this is where we move forward. You know, it's, it's okay. And he's like, no, like really, like I need to tell you, you know, I, I have to tell you, you know? So there's this very, and then I look up and I see four, four, four on the time. Step. So there's this very like intimate moment here that ends this like phase or cycle or whatever, you know, is what I get. Okay. 
Eight of Swords. Um, Eight of Swords for me is that residue of obvious, obvious mind chatter and, you know, mind games and getting in your head um, over something that you feel is, you know, perfect or too good to be true or, you know, and because it's feels like that, it, it's like it can't be trusted. You know what I mean? Let's see what came out. See, the nine of chalices. See, it's like this masculine, it's like she's pulling away. It's a wish fulfillment. So it's almost like in a moment, in this moment, he's, he's fast forward thinking going, this is a wish fulfillment to me. But what if I get this wish fulfillment and fall in love and we, we are together and this happens and we, you know, da, 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 da. and then it, you know, something happens, right? So for me, it's that eight of swords. That's the eight of swords. But they do know you're a wish fulfillment and they just want to talk to you. Okay. So for those of you guys that this is a past person, they want to talk. They want to, they really want to talk. That's why I was called to use this. Okay. So we have, okay, look, there's the eight of swords. It came out and then the eight of pentacles and then, oh, the three of chalices. I accidentally picked that up. So the ace of, ace of pentacles in this deck, look at this. It's like beautiful, um, some beautiful candle magic right there for sure. Right. I love it. I love it. He's like, do what you want, witchy woman, you know, um, eight of swords here and eight of pentacles. What I'm guessing this is for me. I mean, what I'm feeling this is for me is the masculine showing you. So the ace of pentacles is a solid offer. It is a, it's a solid foundation and it's very real. It's very 3d, right? Pentacle. So it's this masculine. So this is after the masculine has presented that pentacle. Okay. So again, whether this is past person or new person, but this is them, what I feel is like them opening up to you about like who they are and what they've been through and, um, you know, how they have, how they've played the fool and how they've made people the fool. You know what I mean? Um, how they've really loved and how they've been burned and da, 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 da. But there's something here about, I finally have found someone who I can be my absolute self with and there is no judgment. It is absolute agape. That's what I said earlier. It's a, that, it's that Eros and agape. This is that unconditional, absolutely can't be broken, eternal bond, Celtic knot, like kind of love that I have been praying for and manifesting and wishing and hoping for my whole life. And here it is, you know, I've, I've met it. I've, I've met him. I've met her. You have the two aces here, by the way. Okay. So, and, and wish fulfillment and King of Pentacles, you know, who is the King of the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so let's go ahead. We're at 18 minutes. Um, so anyways, my loves, if this is your message, be sure to claim it as yours. Um, I just felt this very, it's very sexual energy for sure. Let me just clarify real quick. I'm like, do I want to use something different? No, let's just clarify real quick. Show me the nine of chalices and the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands. I feel like too, for some, for, for a lot of you guys, actually, this is like a shot. This is like a shot into your guys' near future. I promise you. You know what I mean? Like just being all like with someone and love for some of you guys, for sure. There could be fertility, right? Pregnancy. Birth of new cycles, birth of babies, birth of partnerships, nine of swords. The star. You know what this is? This is a, okay, so for whoever's tuning into this, all right, this is an energy of what's coming towards you, okay? What is coming into your life? What is, what is, what is, what is being manifested? Again, wishes, hopes, dreams, wishes coming true. What this is though, is a direct message of saying, hey, remember you're a shining star. Remember who you are. Fix that crown. Don't, don't allow what's going on in the 3D or your, your mind chatter um, to, to knock you out of your beautiful lane, okay? Because this is what's coming in. It's like so close. 
All right, and that's been coming through. See, see how she's like, oh, and then in this, she's like, uh, with her head. See, there's something here, my loves. Masculine, feminine. I mean, obviously this is feminine, so it's like something tied to like that side of the energetic, you know, your your feminine energy, right? But it doesn't matter. It's whoever's tuning into this, whoever's watching this. Yeah, see, remember who you are. You are the empress. <laughs> you are a shining star. So it, that's that message. That's that message. Yeah, see, eight of swords. There it is again. Get out of the mind. It's a mental prison. Okay. Yeah. Because you're about to have big breakthroughs. All right. So beautiful energy here um, with, with all of this. I love this, riding off into the sunset. He's like, no, please, like, let me explain. And then the moment that they come together, they both just feel this, like, extreme, like, this is, this is, this is how it feels when it's, when it's meant to be. This is the real deal. This is it, right? All that. And then six of cups. All right. So there's that, you know, um, very making memories together, you know, but also six of cups very much about nostalgia. So past life energy, past life soulmate energy. But this is that like we just we just jive together. We just go together. We flow together. OK. Um, and then some kind of a message. All right. So, you know. Asking for a phone number, sending a text, a DM, you know, seeing someone online. I don't know. <laughs> An email. But that's what I get here, right? Okay. Um, um, you know what? Here. Let's go ahead and do angel message. All right. So, my loves. If this was your message, again, be sure to claim it as yours. Archangel Raphael, who governs the heart chakra, see? The archangel, the healer angel, the archangel of healing. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. Okay, so my light workers, my 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 healers, my my earth angels, right? Speaking of which, those of you guys who haven't um haven't heard yet, okay, um, I am gonna be hosting a quantum healing. Uh, light language activation workshop on the 3-3 portal okay so on March 3rd and it's going to be held at 3-3-3 p.m pacific standard time okay tickets are $44 okay so if you are feeling intuitively called to to join um send me an email gypsycowgirltarot at gmail.com um and payment method is very easy paypal and cash app gypsycowgirltarot Venmo is gypsy cowgirl underscore tarot, okay, to submit your 44 USD um, for your space. And then email me with the subject box activation, and then I will add you to the list, and I will be in contact with you um, to send out the Zoom link and whatnot. But you guys, it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be activations. It's going to raise your frequency. It's going to help activate you. It's going to help activate um, dormant gifts. It's going to help uh, heal your, your carbon-based DNA cellular memory. We're going to go through chakras, do some chakra healing. It's going to be like a mass thing. Okay. And I'm calling in my guides, your spirit team. I'm just going to be channeling light language. Um, obviously I'm going to be doing like my, you know, like when a lot of people channel light language, right? When we do this, um, we all, it's all different, right? There's different light languages. There's just, just like there's different languages here, right? Um, but it's very powerful. It's quantum healing. So I'm going to be working around, you know, healing uh, the feminine, the the masculine, okay? I'm like, see, I'm already like channeling my nose. It's like itching like crazy right now. Um, going through the chakras, um, you know, your energy field, um, just, you know, making sure to kind of tuning in, seeing what needs to go, if there's things that maybe shouldn't be there, you know, just see what I pick up on, things like that. Um, it's so funny that Archangel Raphael came out, who's the healer angel, and that's literally what this is. He'll be working with us um, for sure that day, um, along with, um, and the, I got the call um, just, you know, this past week, and it's been, you know, like four or five days since I got the call one morning. 
or my answer I should say and it was like all the goddess deities that I've been working with like you know Isis, Mary Magdalene, um, you know Lilith, Kuan Yin, um, Hecate, the Avalon priestesses, the um, Atlantis priestess, you know priestesses of Atlantis, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Aphrodite. Um, so, and then look at this shit. Oh my God, you guys, you can't make it up. Workshop and seminars. That's what I'm freaking talking about. I'm talking about my quantum healing workshop. Okay, there you go. You guys, those of you guys who have like seen me or, you know, at least talk about this because I just started talking about it and sharing um, just like, you know, this past week. Um, anyways, it's just crazy because I'm just now like really starting to share and talk about it. Um, because I just want everyone to know about it and to have the chance to to book a spot okay um you know I have a lot going on behind the scenes I'm recording um personal readings for people and also I need to start working on zodiacs for the channel also um so anyways but this is something that I, I it was a call it was a call to action for sure um, and I'm just so excited, but also nervous, but it's going to be powerful. So if this sounds like something that you want to do, it's going to help open you up. It's going to bring you up, um, a lot. So that's what quantum healing is. And it's going to be big activations, um, clearing, like all the things I will be pulling cards. We'll be doing a little bit of like reading stuff like that. Um, so yeah. So anyways, it's there, you guys. So all the info, um, is what I just said. You could always rewind the video. Um, and, uh, or you could send me an email, you know, down below, um, on how to, um, to be added. So anyways, and also to book with me if you want to book a reading or a past life reading. So this is just wild though, you guys. So it is crazy to me. See, they confirm everything. So, but for what, what I'm also getting is that for some of you guys out there, right? You are, it's like when the student is ready, the teacher appears. You ever hear that? Well, then the student becomes a teacher, right? So that's what I'm getting. So many of you guys are teachers already, or you are the students ready to become the teachers. You know what I mean? Attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning. This is exactly what I was doing to, I was like my guides, like, you know, I was speaking to, to my light team, to the divine, you know, and I was like, give me more. I need more than just, you know, you know, like, like readings and, 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 and the channel and personals. And, you know, I love doing like the live card pulls and I love doing personal readings for you guys. And I love the channel, right? Obviously. And, you know, there's more and I'm expanding more. And, you know, me and my mom are doing our, the, the gypsy cowgirl crystal cottage and, you know, um, just all the things, right. But like, so it's expansion mansion time, but you know, I want to do the light. Like, how can I be of assistance on a quantum level right now like show me and and use me as the vessel right kind of a thing and man did they come through and answer me and it was powerful you guys it was emotional it was powerful so anyways this is cool to me so but this shows me that a lot of you guys are meant to do this too whether it be you on your own platform or you, you being a reader or you know I have no idea but this is you guys are very influential and you're meant to lead as well and you could also be called to work with crystals okay it's time for you to listen to your intuitive feelings, right? But what I'm also getting, anyways, going back to the to the reading is, um, is that this there's people listening to their intuitive feelings. Let's just say that in regards to you, okay? And Archangel Raphael governs the heart space, the heart chakra. He is the archangel depicted on the lover's card in the tarot, right? So governs the lovers, right? Per se, okay, we'll say that. Um, and I just think that this person finds you unique. So I think the fact that you're maybe into crystals and that you, you know, are into like meditation and just things like that. I just feel like it's different and it's refreshing and I feel like it's very intriguing. So that's what I have for you guys. So anyways, I love you guys. I thank you guys. I hope that this connects and I will see you soon. Mwah.